Hi, my name is Emil Stegfeldt and we're gonna go through my gear. So this year I'll be using the Heli Hansen Elevation Shell Jacket 2.0 version in this orange color together with the rich shell pants in grey because I think the color combo matches perfectly. Okay, so what's most important for me with ski clothes is actually that it's a shell jacket and then I actually like when it's a color that pops because I do a lot of video and photos and when you do that you want to stand out. Okay, so on every ski day I bring my mobile phone because it's important to keep in touch if you uh, lose someone or something on the mountain. And I always carry a bar with me and uh, in my backpack I always have a little bit of water because otherwise it's easy to get a headache, especially if it's sunny out. So usually when I'm on the mountain, I don't use the hood because this cuff, it's high up. So it actually covers most of my face when it's windy, but when it's super windy and stormy out, I pull this hood up because yeah, it's, it's cold. This hood is very nice because it's easy to pull up over the helmet. So uh, when it's very windy, I do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty short. I'm 174 centimeters. And I usually go with large. It depends on the sizing. <laughs> but in this jacket, I have large and the pants is large as well because I like a loose fit. This jacket has a feature that I really like. It's uh, a heated pocket, you can call it, because it's insulated so the foam won't get cold. It's, it's super convenient to have it. And it's here on the chest, so it's easy to get the phone, quick, ac quick access, super nice. Okay, so <laughs> it's very nice to have the ventilation because I always tend to have the same amount of clothes on me, even when it's cold or when it's warm. So when it's warm, I get really hot and then it's nice to just open up the ventilation. What's super cool about this jacket is that I haven't used any chemicals for the uh, waterproofing, so it's very good for the environment. And it's pretty light, the jacket and pants are pretty lightweight as well, which I like, because yeah, it's comfortable when you're out. I think the waterproofness works really good. We actually had some days with rain when I was in Idra and uh, when I was in Salen, and it was, yeah, it was waterproof. So I would say it works 100% for me at least. So this jacket has a very big netted pocket here on the inside. Which, uh, is, which is very good for keeping your goggles dry or in, on a hike or something. And then has a little inner inner pocket, which is also super nice to have. And two big front pockets on the chest. I don't use the pockets down here that often because I just think it's more convenient to have this stuff up here. It's easier to get quick access to them, especially when I have a backpack on. It's a little bit harder to get, to get a hold of these pockets then, but they're big pockets. So if you want to keep a bar or a snack, it's, it's perfect for that. So as a skier, you all know it, that you tend to get your edges a bit here, which can cut up the ski pants easily. So this is very, very good to have. And the pants also have nice ventilation on the outside. And, they all, and the pants also have a nice transceiver pocket here on the front. So if you're going out on a ski tour or something, you can have your transceiver down here. Very nice. In these pants, I use a belt because I have this size large and I'm not really large, so uh, I have a belt to keep them up. So, yeah, I think it works perfectly for me. I think the fit is really good. As I said, I go over the size large, just because I like it oversized. When I have a backpack on, the jacket tends to get a little bit shorter. So when I go with large, the jacket is still long when I have the backpack on, but it's all up to you. I mean, I would go for medium if I were not using a backpack all that often, because it would fit a little bit more tight but still flexible and easy to like ski in that's the that's the most important thing very good fit so it doesn't matter if it's warm or if it's cold the jacket still feels the same and has the same functions which is very good and it's also like if it's a lot of wind it tends to keep the wind out very good another good thing about both both the jacket and the pants is that they're equipped with reco system so underneath the jacket i'll be using the odin power stretch I really like it because it's soft and it's stretchable. So it doesn't matter how I'm moving, I don't feel like I have an, anything under the jacket, which is super good. And it's warm, but it's, it's not too warm. So it's perfect for me to have like every day. I, so I feel like when I go on a hike and I sweat, it doesn't absorb that much. It doesn't get wet. It just like stays the way it is, which is super nice because it, it doesn't get that cold when, it's, uh, when you're starting to ski again after the hike. 
So my go-to gloves this season has been the Hestra Army Leather Patrol, just because they're, they're like really flexible and at the same time looking really cool and leather so don't get wet that easily and super durable they don't like it's not easy to cut them up on any edges or stuff like that they they tend to keep up so the durability is really good on these ones and when it's colder out i use uh, the mitted gloves yeah i'm a bit bad on treating them with glove balm i uh, i should do it more often but uh, they tend to look very good so <laughs> but maybe it's time for me to use some glove balm on them so the skis I used for the past two years are the Atomic Ben Chetler 100 and the length 188. I have a lot of other pair of skis, but these are the skis that I tend to use the most when I ski in Sweden, because it's like not that much powder and it's they're perfect for like all terrain stuff. Very good. And on them I have the shift binding, so I can go ski touring whenever I want, which is also very smooth. And actually I've been skiing really hard on these bindings and they have been performing really good, like a, like a normal binding actually. So I just pump up the weight to like its max and then I can drop clips with them. Super nice. Yeah, the ski has some rocker. I don't know how much, but it has some rocker. So it floats pretty good in powder as well. As I said, I'm 174 and I use the length 188. But if I would go more tree skiing or just more pist skiing, maybe I would go a little shorter ski. But when I tend to go off pist, ski fast, I like long skis, because it's more stable. On these, I actually mounted factory. So it depends on the ski and what I'm going to use it for. Uh, but I felt like factory was the way to go on these ones. So the turning radius on these skis are in 188, a little bit longer, but I, th I, I tested out the shorter version and the turning radius is really good. So these ones are for longer turns when they're in, these length, in, in this length. Yeah, I've slayed some powder with them as well. Uh, I do prefer the Ben Chetler 120 when it's a lot of powder, but when it's not that much, this is a perfect ski. So if, if I would go with one ski, I would probably use this one. I would say that the flex is a little bit over medium to the harder side. So it's really stable when you ski fast, but you still can do some butters and fun stuff with it. The ski, what I like most about the ski is actually that it's super lightweight. So when I go ski touring or when I just carry it on my my shoulder on a shorter hike, it's very nice. And it's actually super nice when you do some tricks as well, or just some small jumps in the pits. I've had some fun with this ski. So this pair is actually half broken because I skied into a super sharp rock, which you're not supposed to do, but I didn't see it and I went very fast, but I actually still use them. It, it works fine. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit broken there, but it works fine. So very good quality, I would say. So that was my gear. Thank you all so much for watching. Maybe I'll see you in the slopes or on YouTube or somewhere. Have a good one. <laughs>